Delhi is the capital city of India and is a popular tourist destination known for its rich history, culture, and architecture. Some popular tourist attractions in Delhi include the Red Fort, Kotub Minar, Jama Masjid, India Gate, Lotus Temple, and the Rajgat. The city also offers a diverse range of shopping options, from traditional bazaars to modern malls, and delicious street food. Visitors can also explore the city's museums, temples, and gardens. It's also near to Agra where you can visit the iconic Taj Mahal. The Red Fort, also known as the Lal Qila, is a historic fort located in Old Delhi, India. It was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in the mid-17th century and served as the main residence of the Mughal emperors for nearly 200 years. The fort is made of red sandstone and is known for its impressive architecture, including its large courtyards, halls, and private chambers. The fort also has the Divan Ayam, Hall of Public Audience, and Divan Ikos, Hall of Private Audience, which were used by the emperor to meet with officials and members of the royal court. The fort also has the Hayat Baksh Bagh which is a beautiful garden. The Red Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is open to visitors all days except Monday. The India Gate is a war memorial located in New Delhi, India. It was built to commemorate the Indian soldiers who died in World War I and the Afghan Wars. The monument is a 42-meter high stone archway and is located at the end of Rajput, a ceremonial boulevard in the heart of New Delhi. The names of the Indian soldiers who died in the wars are inscribed on the walls of the monument. The India Gate is also a popular spot for locals and tourists to gather and relax, especially in the evenings when the monument is illuminated. The place is surrounded by lush green lawns, making it a perfect spot for a picnic or a stroll. The India Gate is open all days of the week. The Kutub Minar is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, located in the Mayrali area of Delhi, India. It is a large minaret, a tower that is typically part of a mosque and is considered to be one of the most significant examples of Indo-Islamic architecture. The Qutub Minar was built by Qutbuddin Ibik, the first ruler of the Delhi Sultanate, in the early 13th century. The tower is made of red sandstone and marble and stands 72.5 meters tall with 379 steps to reach the top. The Qutub Minar complex also includes several other buildings and monuments such as the Quad al-Islam Mosque, which is the first mosque built in India, the Iron Pillar, and the Ali Darwaza Gate. The minaret has intricate carvings and calligraphic inscriptions and is also a great example of the Islamic architectural style that was prevalent in India during the medieval period. The Qutub Minar is open all days of the week except for Monday. Jama Masjid is a mosque located in Old Delhi, India. It is one of the largest and best-known mosques in India and is considered to be a fine example of Mughal architecture. The mosque was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan between 1644 and 1656 and has three gateways, four towers, and two 40-meter-high minarets constructed of alternating vertical strips of red sandstone and white marble. The mosque is capable of accommodating 25,000 people at a time. The courtyard of the mosque is also large and can accommodate thousands of worshippers during Friday prayers. The mosque also has a collection of relics and a closet in the north gate, including an antique copy of the Quran written on deer skin. The mosque is open to visitors during non-prayer hours and shoes must be removed before entering the mosque. Non-Muslims are also allowed to enter the mosque, but they are expected to dress modestly and to behave respectfully. The Lotus Temple, also known as the Baha'i House of Worship, is a Baha'i House of Worship located in Delhi, India. It is a very distinctive building that is shaped like a lotus flower, with 27 freestanding marble-clad petals arranged in clusters of three to form nine sides. 
It was completed in 1986 and has become a major tourist attraction in Delhi. The temple is set among pools and gardens and is a place of worship for the Baha'i community, but it is also open to visitors of all religions. The temple's architect, Ferry Bursaba, from Canada, said the design was inspired by the lotus flower, which is a symbol of purity, enlightenment, and self-regeneration in many cultures. The temple has nine doors that lead to the central hall, which can hold up to 2,500 people. The central hall is surrounded by nine pools of water, which enhance the beauty of the temple. The temple is open all days of the week except for Monday. Rajgad is a memorial dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi, located on the banks of the river Yamuna in New Delhi, India. It is a simple black marble platform that marks the spot of Gandhi's cremation on January 31, 1948, after he was assassinated. The memorial is surrounded by lush greenery and is a peaceful spot to visit. The memorial's design is simple but powerful, with the black marble platform surrounded by a shallow park. The platform is inscribed with Gandhi's last words, He Ram, which translates to Oh God. The memorial is also surrounded by trees and a small pond. The Rajgad is open all days of the week. The premises are open from sunrise to sunset for visitors. Rajgad is considered a sacred place for many people and is visited by thousands of people every day. It is a popular spot for visitors to pay their respects to the leader of the Indian independence movement, who is also commonly known as the father of the nation in India.